Hey everybody, it's Ricky J from Just Gaming For You saying, how the heck are you? Today I want to start off the video saying thank you so much to our subs and those people that are clicking the like button and pounding it hard. Today we've got a great unboxing coming up for you. It's the first one we're doing here on Just Gaming For You and we just wanted to let you know thanks for tuning in and we're going to get to it. So here we are guys. We just got this in the mail today from NCIX. Now, I promised you guys a lot more than what was coming, than what came today, but we're going to start this off and we're going to do this unboxing right. I haven't opened this yet. I'm pretty confident I know what it is, but we're going to unbox it here and we're going to see. We're going to start off. I got my little Hanko steak knife here. You know, I've got to, I've got to have a good unboxing tool when we do this. It's going to get going. Oh, oh, look at this. This is why I should have gotten with the Leatherman. Couldn't find it. Whatever. Here we go. Oh, here we go. I think I know what this is. It is from NCIS. So, oh, we got the little seal there. Ooh, they make a nice noise, don't they? Oh, my kids would love those, but they're not here. We don't need that. Who does? Oh, we got the packing slip. I'm not going to show you guys that. There's too much personal information on it. Ah, and I was right. Here we go. Here it is, the accoutrement. This is our new AMD Ryzen 7 1700X. So this is the baby I've been waiting for. This baby here is just the processor, which you can see right here. You see it right there. It's going to be just our processor. And you know what? It's not going to have or a heat sink or anything in it. I will let you know, I have an H60 I could use with it, but I went ahead and uh, NCIX had a really good price point on uh, a H100i cooler, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be using that, a so version two. And I did order the uh, custom backplate from Corsair, which was free, which is great. Great job Corsair on making the brackets free. You know, I really, everybody likes that. You know, we like it that the compatibility is there, especially when you build something new, okay? So wow. Looks really nice. I like the packaging, but you know what? Once again, sort of like uh, other things. It seems a little hefty for what it is. But this is it. This is our processor. This is the box. Everything. That's what it comes in. Just like that. Look at that. Hey, little looks like a little sticker there for you. Ryzen seven saying on it. Wow. I like the packaging. I like the color scheme. I like the orange. I like uh, orange is actually my favorite color. Orange is my totally favorite color. Now you know I'm not a big Dodge fan. Um, you know, I've spent a lot of years working for them and that, but uh, and working on their equipment at my current employer. But needless to say, that they are actually a. Uh, I love the color; they're hemi orange. So orange is a uh, my my favorite color. But uh, you know what? Uh, today I want I want to tell you guys one other thing since we're here. You know, I had done another unboxing video of a Nintendo Switch. I did receive the Nintendo Switch. Um, so far, I am playing. I'm playing Zelda. I'm playing Fast RMX and uh, Spectre of Torment. And dude, it is fantastic. It's, you know, everybody's talking about the reviews. Everybody's talking about what's going on with it, hey, and how good the game is, this and that. I'll tell you, I, I don't like the the frame rate issues in it. I play it on the 1080p on the TV, hey, on my 4K uh, upstairs. And uh, needless to say, the, the issues with the frame rate are present. And it seems to happen quite consistently. But something that I think that you know, that reviewers, when they're talking about a video game, they need to go ahead and do. They need to mention that. But you know, I did start off an unboxing video with that, but it didn't happen because I, I wasn't pleased with the with the outcome. But quite honest, I'm not going to unbox it unless I'm unboxing it in front of you, because I hate it when you see people and they take the packaging, they repackage it up like sort of. I just repackaged it, but I repackaged it for storage, not so that I could go ahead. And, and re unbox it for somebody. I hate it when people do that. They take it out, oh, we're going to re unbox it. No. So I'm not doing a Nintendo Switch. But I am going to do my Ryzen 7 1700X here, as I did. And well, what we're waiting for is we're still waiting for the Asus ROG Cross Crosshair 6 Hero. Man, I've been waiting forever. I was hoping the motherboard was going to be here by now. I was hoping they would come at the same time. But once again, they're back ordered. On NCIX, still, and you know what? Everybody else, the MSI X three seventy Titans, all that. Hey, I wanted to get a good board, so I was comparing those. Uh, I'm just waiting for them. So, but uh, man, everybody falls hardware. Uh, uh, you know what? 
Jay-Z, uh, Tech of Tomorrow, all these guys are reviewing it, and uh, I can't do a review because, well, I don't have the stuff. Yeah, although all this stuff is purchased myself. I purchase everything myself. You know, I'm, I'm not endorsed by anybody. So I'm going to be, I'm just going to be critical. Critical in general. Critical in a positive manner. Critical in a negative manner. Sometimes there's going to be things, just like Breath of the Wild, there's some negativity behind it. And I don't think that the, that the reviewers have actually gone ahead and spoken enough about it. Now then, that doesn't mean to say that the game itself isn't fantastic. The game is great. And when you play it on the Switch itself, you don't have any of those problems. None of the, none of the frame rate drops. I've totally noticed that I was playing last time. I was playing in bed with the wife sitting beside me. She was on her phone doing her thing. So I decided, well, I'm going to play this game. And uh, no frame rate drops at all. And the battery life, though, on the Switch, yes. A little bit, little bit uh, lacking. But you know what? That's an easy thing. Turn it down. Turn down the screen brightness. Turn down the volume just a little bit. But keep it there. Needless to say, that's where we're at. We're waiting for that Crosshair uh, Hero 6 to come. Then you know what? We've got our, our Fantex case, which I'm going to actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to unbuild that computer that I have, and then I'm going to rebuild it. You know, and then we'll go into a little bit more about what's going into that case, everything. We know that we're getting the, the Crosshair H100i version 2 in there. You know you're going to have your Ryzen AMD 1700X, and you know you're getting your um, uh, Crosshair uh, Hero 6 in that case. But everything else, well, well, you'll have to wait and see. You know, you'll have to uh, just check it out, and you'll have to wait for the, the build. And then we're going to do some benchmarks. But we're not going to do just synthetic and Cinebench. And we're not going to just do just random um, numbers up on the screen. We're going to do game capture at actual 4K and at 1440p. I'm not doing 1080p. I don't care about the reviews on, on 1080p. I don't, who plays in 1080p anymore? Lots of people. Actually, lots of people. But me, I don't. I have one um, Asus uh, PG278 and a PG279. So I got the ISP and the TN panel. Both of them, I put, and they're both 1440p. And then I have another, I have multiple 4K TVs, right? So I, I'm always playing in 4K or 1440p. And I think that that's the standard. Because you know what? Whether it's a FreeSync or it's a G-Sync monitor, you know what? Or, or if it's even just a 144 hertz or 165 hertz refresh rate monitor, high-speed monitor, that you know what? Most people are playing like that nowadays. So I want to do some benchmarks, and I'm going to do the actual capture. Now, we'll, we will give the numbers. I'll have the numbers up on screen as we're doing it, and we'll, and we'll actually see, hey, this is the frame rate. You know, and that is, I think, is key. Is we want to actually see what it's like per each, the, with the chipset, max with each video card that we try it with. I do have, a, I have, I am partial to NVIDIA. Uh, as I said, for, for graphics cards, I just think that, you know, what they push the best right now. And I, but I'm going to keep it, like, I'm not going to do their highest end, and I'm not going to do their lowest end. I'm going to keep it right there in that sweet spot where I think that everybody with their Canadian dollars is going to spend, where they're going to want to be, 1070s, 1080s. Anyways, everybody, this is Ricky J from Just Gaming For You saying thank you so much for tuning in today. Can't wait to see you again next time. And click that subscribe button and pound the like button. And don't be afraid to share the video. Share it wherever you want. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you want to do. YouTube, you know, share the video, people. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And we're saying ciao, people.